Um, so the question is, uh, when you're tournament fishing, when, you, when you're pre-fishing and you're finding baits that are working, you have some baits that are working uh, during your pre-fish, when you get to the tournament itself, are you going to load up and maybe run multiples of your best baits? Or, you know, what's your approach uh, kicking off the tournament? So, going back to pre-fishing, um, when I'm pre-fishing on that Friday, I'm trying to get every rod bit that day. I, I want to set up a pattern. Um, but then come Saturday, um, I look at my spread kind of like almost like if I was trying to dress myself. I don't put a lot of different stuff in the water. I, I think of a spread in a three-dimensional way and each rod is complementing the one on either side of it or above or below it. Um, so there, I, it's a calculated decision of what I'm putting in the water on Saturday. And it, it does, it, you know, w what happened the day before has a, a great impact on that selection. And then we do have our favorite go-tos that, especially I, we have one on our 75 copper that it never gets changed. What's that one? <laughs> um, Adam, I'm not comfortable. <laughs> Good answer. Good answer. Uh, I think it. I think it depends. Um, I have had situations where I have the same bait on 12 rods or nine rods if it's a nine rod tournament. Um, so yes, that does happen. But I think that you can also get burned with that mentality. So. I will typically, you know, put a, a heavier amount of one thing. So let's say it's a, you know, a, I mean, I, I can actually think of a Grand Haven tournament where this particular setup, a, a white slick spinny with a, with a Moo Moo meat rig was probably on six rods. But I think you got to mix a confident, a confidence bait into the spread. Like for me, it would be a, a moonshine spoon, uh, for instance, like, um, like dancing anchovy or something like that, something or, or I don't know, uh, what's the green one? That, green jeans. Yeah, well, green jeans would be a good example. Um, flounder, 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 flounder. Green flounder. Oh, yeah, yeah green so that's flounder. what I, I was drawing a blank. But green flounder for me, like if I'm trying to target big kings and they're around, I've got a green flounder on some route, even if I didn't get bit on it necessarily pre-fishing it most often. So I think you have to you have to put enough in the spread that you know they're wanting to eat, but then you got to mix it up a little bit to keep them honest because – Day to day, it could change, and if maybe it's a spinny fly bite or a spinny meat rig bite one day, they might be biting spoons the next day. But if you didn't start with at least a couple, you might miss that piece of the pie. So sure. I think it's I, that's kind of what I would say I'd normally do. I'd say is you know it's similar where mm -hmm. um, you can't catch a fish on a plug if you don't have a plug in the water. Mm -hmm. You can't catch a fish on a rotator if you don't have one in the water. Yeah. Um, I I would say that yeah like my morning spread it, it, it's always it always has a bunch of different offerings, but it can very quickly switch to all of the same. Um, you know Jeremy and I fished um, the day <laughs> like the day after a tournament, which is always the way it happens. And uh, you know we hit a fish on a plug, we put out another plug, we hit a fish on that plug, we put out another plug. Pretty soon we had like fifth you know we had fifteen plugs in the water, and they were all getting bit. And um, it was a charter, so don't don't go running and turning me in. <laughs> um, but no, and you know, <clears throat> we're v very flexible to make adjustments. But I like to let the fish tell me the yeah. adjustments to make. But I think the confidence baits is key. If you obviously, if you've caught a fish on the same bait over and over um, during the week, that's a confident bait. But then you always have every boat has these you know, kind of magical baits that they always fall back to. And it's, it's a kind of humorous because it, it's totally different between each boat. Sure. And, you know, I always say if you if you run the same bait over and over and over, it's yeah. probably going to catch fish or, gonna be your or you're not going to sure. catch fish, you know, <laughs> one of the two. But, um, you know, you got to be comfortable. I think when you're comfortable with your baits, you worry more about your direction and your speed and, and you worry about the other elements that, that can make a big change. And, and I'll take mine. If I got one that's really good, it's probably coming off to be used on game day. Mm -hmm. I may run one very similar like it, but the one that I know is that I know is pr pr you know it could be the exact same bay, but that that one's going for game day, yeah. and I'm gonna have a game day box. And yeah. then, like you said, it can change quickly, but there's always gonna be a game day box that that gets that I'm not gonna you know I don't want to take a chance on losing that one I know that's working really right. 
that six, five other ones might not be Especially quite with spoons. Yeah. Spoons, spoons are, especially. there. you can have five of the same spoon, six of the same spoon, and one of them's got teeth marks in it and the other ones don't. And, you know, that's my, I go downstairs, I'm going to grab a bait. It's going to have the most teeth marks in it, you know, and it's going to have a VMC hook on it and be ready to rip. I have an old black and raspberry pro gang. <clears throat> oh, yeah. I think I've owned it for 30 years. And that is a prized possession. <laughs> Better have more than one of them, right? Yep, and I do. <laughs> but there's one in particular. Yeah. And, the, and, the, and the raspberry, it, it's faded from being up in a rod holder at the dock or so, you know? Yeah. And that's like one. Honda 175. <laughs> <laughs> And I yeah. won't just get one, I'll, I'll take six. Or yeah. if I know it's my bait, it's going to be yeah. a lot. Yeah. So I don't sure. buy one of one bait. Never, never just one. Just I don't usually even just buy two. <laughs> it's it's going to be a minimum of six if I get them or more. So. Yeah, we, you know, if I go into the shop and they get they got a whole peg full, I'd probably just buy all of them. Gonna rack them. Yeah. You know, one thing I'll um, add for the smaller boat fishermen, um, Loading up on spin doctors um, or paddles even, um, I can't do it on my boat. I can't run spin doctors um, on my corner riggers and on my dipsy. But you know what? That dipsy's gonna have a spin doctor on it. So my, my two corner uh, riggers have spoons on them usually because I hate getting tangled. If I'm tangled, I'm not in the water, I'm not catching fish. That one rigger that has my probe on it, um, if it has a spin doctor or meat rig or a paddle on it, that lead's going to be way back there because I don't want it competing with my dipsies. I don't want to get get those two crossed up. So um, what the, the big boats can do, we, ne we really can't based on the size of our boat. We, it's, you, you're, if you try to replicate that, you're going to run into problems. And it goes back again. What works for your boat? You have to figure that out. You know, I I just feel like I don't understand what you're talking about. So I think it'd be beneficial if Jeremy and I went with you <laughs> to show us, you know, how to do it on a small boat. We can take some video, of course. Yeah. We won't videotape that 175, but we might take a picture. So, yeah. So we'll just invite ourselves. We'll That's be uh, fine. we'll be in contact soon. Okay. <laughs> You'll have right. to check with Katie and Luke <laughs> if you're approved on board. I'll bring bush. Are you old enough to drink bush light? I'm eighteen. <laughs> I'll bring you some uh, what is that? Diet Coke. Diet Coke. No, what was that? Uh, Grand Haven. They have this water. I can't remember what it's called. But uh, when I did the Grand Haven tournament, guys, one of the kids was like in in high school, so I brought him. This, it's really good. Okay. I mean, for something that doesn't have alcohol in it, it's really tasty. Nice. Yeah. All right. Anyways, I'll have to get back to you on that one. Right. I'll probably just flash it on the screen right here. <laughs> yeah. Drink this.